RVs aren't just for road trips anymore. There are several families at this weekend's Tampa RV show that are living out of them full time. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd climbed aboard. Well, Heath and Alyssa Pageant's first time in an RV was a honeymoon trip across the country. Now, six years later, they're raising a family on the road. Heath Paget loves calling a new state home every week, but that wasn't always the plan. The whole idea was that we were wanted to kick off our marriage with a fun adventure. Heath and his wife Alyssa soon figured out they didn't want to live anywhere that doesn't move from place to place. Sitting still for even just a few weeks, we've still felt that wanderlust, as people say, and we wanted to keep traveling. So they decided that the RV lifestyle isn't just for baby boomers, it's for millennials too. To be able to move your whole life out of a house or out of an apartment and onto this home on wheels is a very foreign concept for people. 49 states later, they discovered that life on the highway is actually pretty affordable. It was something like $5,000 cheaper for the year. It's worth compared to paying our rent in Austin. They said the key was finding jobs that allowed them to do all their work in the six foot space between the living room and bedroom. Remote work has been on the rise for a long time. You can work from anywhere that you have a good internet connection. And when it comes to raising a child in an RV, these parents say a loving home is a loving home. It should matter if it has a steering wheel. As long as we can give her, you know, a safe environment to grow up in and be able to continue traveling and seeing the country, like why not get back on the road? In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.